let me express something, okay? What really turns on the masculine, would you like to know? What really turns them on, not just sexually, but sexually and spiritually, what really turns on the masculine is not your openness. And openness, I mean by the lusciousness of your body, the fluidity, the sexiness, the radiance of your body, that's not what turns on the masculine. What turns on the masculine is you opening more than you were. Let me explain this a little bit more. And can I be a little crude here to demonstrate, to give an example? I'm going to use this just so we get it right down to, so you can understand. So if he walks into a room and there's one woman already wide open, wet, massaging her breasts in ecstasy, it's like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> but if there's, you know, and, and she's in her bliss, she's, in, she's looking at you, but she's really enjoying herself. That's quite interesting. Would you agree? Okay, good. <laughs> What's really sexy is not that if there's another woman there, she looks at you, and she's whatever level of open, let's say she's close, but the way you walk in, or by seeing you, or even by herself, that she starts to open more than she was. And then even more open. So let's say in terms of lovemaking, he enters, you know, there's a woman there, she's already hot, already juicy, already wet. He, he, he comes in and he makes, you know, he puts his penis in her. She's already fully lubricated, wet and wild and delicious. That's great. But what's really a turn on, and this is what you got to get, is for him to feel that your opening is widening. Your blooming of being and radiance and juiciness and heart and flesh and pleasure is expanding and widening and blooming. So he comes with you, your vagina is not fully open, it's not fully lubricated, you're not fully wild, but he's looking at you and in response, you're wide. Oh, yes. Oh, oh God, yes. Oh, 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 I think I'm doing my best to. <laughs> Rather than, oh, yes, right away. It's to feel. And, you know, that's what turns on a man with a masculine essence. So a lot of women are focused on, I've got to be open. 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 It's not that you, you see, you can't do this. A lot of women can't do this because they ha don't practice opening all day long. And if you're doing it in short periods of time, and you've got history, father, mother, life, issues, brothers, sisters, work, business, play, blah, 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 how many things are there that are countering the openness of feminine expression? Un unimaginable amount of forces. So you, when you practice opening daily, then you'll be able to respond. If not, he's going to meet with you, and then he's going to have to deal with all this history and because you're all, many of you are second stage Nazis, whereas you've got to be felt, heard, expressed, understood before you start to open. Your lack of practice, okay, in opening is what attracts a man or with your own partner if you have one, awakens or calls within him the reciprocal energy of lack of presence. If you're complaining about a man's lack of presence, you have not learned how to open and radiate. Because if you're offering radiance moment to moment, if you're opening that and you're widening that, then your shells of fear of that radiance start to relax, which naturally awakens in him the response of presence and the depth of presence. And one of the things I've seen women mistake in this work is think that the men are to blame for lack of presence. I want more presence. 
I want more presence. If you want more presence, you need to practice daily getting together with yourself and with other feminine spiritual third stage practitioners. It's not just being with other women. Sorry. Because you can be with women in the first stage, which is what a lot of women do. They go shopping together. What do you feel like? I don't know. What do you feel like? And you dress to, to look good, to be seen. If you're dressing to look good, to be seen, what's happening is, is that you're expressing your first stage desire to be seen. Look at me. Am I pretty enough? Are we pretty enough? Second stage is you repress that energy and you go more neutral. You wear more non-sexual clothing so that you could be seen for who you are. I want to be seen as a person, not just a woman with sexual, womanly parts. That's good, especially if you're walking by a construction site or, <laughs> and it's not appropriate to express your feminine juiciness. But in your intimacies, this is what we're talking about. This is this training about. Sex, passion, alignment is about your intimacies, correct? It's about your, especially your intimate life. Then, to the degree you practice sexual, spiritual opening... With your bodies, the more you'll awaken their response for presence. How many guys know what I'm talking about? Agree to see. Hey, how was that for you? Was that inspiring or what? Now, time to get off of the sideline, participate with us. And you know what? We ha you have that opportunity this October. And so in order to take part, in order to participate with your partner, what you've got to do is click the banner below. We've got a video for you, Satin and I are coming to you in a video, and you're gonna watch all of that, fill out your contact information, press join, you're on your way, we're gonna give you a call, and there you go. You'll be at our next event in October, and we look forward to seeing you. Do it, because everything else can work.